What's going on people? It's Mr. Doll back again with another video. I hope everyone's fit and well. And yes, the title of the video is Plays Like Willy Bolly, Ola Aino, I think gonna get back into the National Voice team. Before I do talk about it, I want to just big shout out to my sponsors, uh, Paul P W uh, Plummet and Gas, who kindly sponsored my channel to the end of the season. If there's anyone that want any plumbing and gassing work, please look in the description as well. He's a massive National Forest fan, and like I said, it will help anyone as well. So if any family or friends or yourself need any plumbing or gas work in, in Nottingham area or whatever area that you're from, please email him, and the link is in the description as well. Right, so the main talk, talk, talk point is about these players coming back in the Nottingham Forest team. Forest won 2 0 against West Ham, and it's a good performance from the whole 11. But can any of the players get in the team? And we'll start with the defence. Um, with Bolly and Ula Aina, um, can they come back against Aston Villa? Me, personally, I, 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 it's a tough one because they're both good players as well. But if you just drop on the, any of the players that played against us, against West Ham, you'd be sad on him. I played like Felipe, he was fantastic as well. You're not going to drop Murillo either as well. And... Players like Nico Williams and Nuno Torres, are they are they droppable as well? And Ula Aina, um, he's an African, so I'm going to put as well. He's still a good player for Nottingham Forest as well. And Willie Bolly, as well, African winner. Can he get in the Nottingham Forest side as well in the back four? What do you think, Forest fans? In the comment section, do you think they should replace or get or Felipe Marino or any of the back four? Keep their place now. The midfield role, um, Sangari, uh, he hasn't started very well at all for Nottingham Forest, in my opinion. Um, we have players like Ryan Yates in that sixth role, and even Dominguez, um, who's been like I said, he was fantastic against West Ham. He's not normally a number six role either, as well, but he did a job on Saturday. Do you think Sankara should get a chance in that Olympic six role against Aston Villa team because it's a different kind of midfield um, against Villa because mid Villa they've got a good midfield like John McGinn, Dal Louise as well, um, Dr. Dr. Louise. My apologies. Um, and Sankara, like I said, he's he's strong as well, but like I said, he's not been playing great. Do you think that he should get a chance in that midfield? What do you think, Poise fans? Um, most expensive, it's 35 million it costs from PSV. Um, it's a tough one, but you can't like to take Dominguez out of his position after a good performance alongside Dinele as well. So, first of all, what do you think? These Afcon players, do you think that um, they should get a chance against Aston Villa or not? Get your comments in now. Like I said, it's a short video, people. Uh, like I said, um, I thought it's a, very, it's a tough subject to talk about. Like I said, um, any of these three players get in the team for Aston Villa's game. Um, I will be doing a, a preview show as well with an Aston Villa fan on Thursday, so check out that as well. And like I said, there's going to be more little con videos like this on my channel, so watch out for that. So, like I said, everything that I've spoke about, please get in the comment section now. Please do hit the like button as well. Hex my channel as well. And comment below anything that I'll speak about about the players coming in like, in against Aston Villa. Thank you for watching, people, and I'll see you again in the next video. Peace and love of the forest.